Today in the Daily Dose, Alexander Graham Bell. Born in 1847, Edinburgh, Scotland, to a father who was a professor of speech elocution at the University of Edinburgh, and a deaf mother who was an accomplished pianist despite her handicap, Alexander Graham Bell proved a disappointing student, but an astute problem solver from an early age, inventing a wheat grain dehusking device at age 12, before studying the mechanics of speech by age 16. Moving to Canada in 1870 and the U.S. a year later, Bell began teaching deaf children his father's visible speech technique, which was a set of symbols representing different sounds of speech. By 1872, Bell opened the Boston-based School of Vocal Physiology and Mechanics of Speech, at the same time becoming a professor at Boston University, despite his lack of a university degree. While working on a harmonic telegraph, a device that allowed multiple messages to be transmitted over a single wire, Bell became obsessed with finding a way to transmit the human voice over the same wire, partnering with Thomas Watson in 1875 to develop the first working telephone. Well aware that other inventors like Antonio Meucci and Elijah Gray were working on the same technology, Bell raced his application to the patent office to beat out his competitors, receiving a patent for the telephone on March 7, 1876, before making the first ever telephone call a few days later, uttering his now famous words, Mr. Watson, come here, I want you. Forming the Bell Telephone Company in 1877, later known as AT&T, in 1915, Bell made the first transcontinental phone call to Watson from New York City to San Francisco. Over the course of his inquisitive lifetime, Bell would receive 18 patents on a variety of inventions, including a metal detector initially developed to locate a bullet inside assassinated President James A. Garfield, a photophone which allowed human speech to be transmitted on a beam of light, a graphophone which further added sound recording and playback to the photophone, and an audio meter for detecting hearing loss. He also won the French Volta Prize, allowing him to found Volta Laboratory in Washington, D.C. for the advancement of scientific discovery, at the same time helping to launch Science Magazine before serving as president of the National Geographic Society from 1896 to 1904. He passed away in Nova Scotia on August 2, 1922, due to complications from diabetes, with his loving wife and two daughters at his bedside. During his funeral, every phone in North America went silent in honor of Bell's contribution to such groundbreaking technology, making the life and inventions of Alexander Graham Bell an important leap forward in 20th century technology. And there you have it. Alexander Graham Bell, today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.